Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for four three-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Please welcome, first of all, in the blue corner, wearing red and white, he weighed 11 stone, one pound at yesterday's weigh-in. Originally from Sherbraz in Iran, but now boxing out of Scotland. Please welcome Ben Digani. And across the ring in the red corner, wearing green and white, weighing 10 stone, 11 pounds. He hails from Lagos. He is the natural. Please welcome on his debut, Larry Ekundayo. Your referee for this contest is Mr. Marcus McDonald. Ben, Larry. You both know what I expect, and like Professor all times, obey my instructions. Keep it nice and clean. Any questions? Let's go to work. Right, here we go then. Four rounds potentially in front of us. And Larry Ekendaya, one of those fighters, uh, Richard, I mentioned earlier, you know, he's actually approaching his 30s. He's 29 now. Um, you know, he's making his debut, for goodness sake. I made mine when I was 21. Yeah, very late start. I actually made mine when I was 25. So, not too far off that. But still pretty late. Still pretty late. But Larry, like I said, he calls himself the natural, natural ability. He certainly looks it. And as you say, he's a top class amateur in Nigeria. And uh, I, Ben uh, Degani, I was chatting to him earlier. Um, he said, I'm not from Glasgow. He said, I'm from East Ham. And I thought, well, I wonder where that came from. <laughs> Degani, very tall. Yes, he has, of course, experience. Six pounds under his belt, but he's only won one of them. I tell you, what I was so impressed with Akandao about, in the gym anyway, very good punch picker, intelligent fighter. And that is very important to be a good punch picker. You've got to know which shots to land at the right time. And it's the man, you know, the man who can do that, Richard Williams, he knows as well as I do. It's poetry in motion. Isn't it? Absolutely. Already, Akandeo landed some very good shots. Counter right hands, left hooks. Yeah, this could be a painful night's work for Degani. If you're wondering, by the way, the gloves they're wearing weigh uh, eight ounces. They look huge. Well, they used to be um, six ounces, of course, for anyone up to line middleweight, up to and including line middleweight, but uh, there beyond, it was uh, eight, and now it's changed from eight to ten um, to make things a bit safer. Whether or not it's worked, I don't know. One thing, Steve, you see, make a comment about Akandel being 29 years old to making a pro debut, and it is, that is late to be making a pro debut. But one thing you do get with that age is stability of mind. You can see he's very patient. It's a very good point, you know, Richard. Um, and it's a very mature start for him. That we can say, of course, because he is 29, so mature he certainly is. But is it like you say, he's a very good punch picker, as we just saw there. He's got good balance, good head movement. And he's a bit flamboyant as well. Good start. This is a business. Harry Andrews is um, the man in the corner with uh, Ekada. Here we go. This is the flamboyance at the end of round one. Uh, we're windmilling both hands there before unleashing a barrage of punches on the head of uh, Degani. I think that's a statement to say, I've arrived, I'm comfortable. 
That's a very good way of putting it. So there is uh, Ekendayo and Harry Andrews in his corner there and with the hat on back to front, John Rooney. And my old mate Lenny handing up. Um, he's known as the house second. Their job is to ensure, well, they work for the promoter actually, and their job is to ensure that uh, all the water is in place, the stool gets taken out when it should, and that they get uh, the sponge and the drink when they should. Round, Round two then. Two. So Marcus McConnell brings them together for round two. And I've got to say, uh, firstly, Richard, that Ben Degani took some pretty wicked shots in round one. Nothing nothing that was in danger of putting him over. But you wonder how much more of this he can take. Well, this is it. And up and down, probably warming up towards the end of that first round. The signs are not good for, for the Gendai. Yep, Degani. Uh, Degani. Degani. As Sorry. As had, you know, the one thing in his favour is the fact that he's had six fights. He knows how what it feels like to get whacked. And that does make a huge difference. Well, there were some very good, uh, very subtle defensive moves there, I thought, from uh, Ekendayo. Um, because Degani went to work at the body and every single shot he threw was caught with the elbow. Well, this is that you can see very well scored. Having said that, though, I would like to see him popping his jab a little better, a little bit more, sticking to the basics. Yeah, forget all the flash, uh, the flash stuff for the moment. Just get on, settle down, box your way to victory. But, you know, he, he is a naturally flamboyant individual, obviously, Richard. Nice fight. And that one hurts. Here he goes. Oh. Lovely left hook there. And uh, Degani is in a bit of bother here. Despite Quality. the fact that he's fighting back. Quality shots. Quality shots. The way he slipped under those hooks. And always ready to fire back. Well, one thing I can say in uh, Ben Degani's favour is he's never been stopped in five defeats. And the one win he had, he actually won inside the limit. So he's a, a bit of a tough guy. Lovely uppercut oh, there. Very good uppercut. But as you said, the guy is very game. Oh, what a shot that was. Now, if that won't put him out, nothing will. And again, a lovely oh. night. The good oh, referee should stop this one now, I think. Well, he certainly could have done there. And he, he looks he looks like championship material just you know in his first fight. I absolutely agree. Very elusive. Very difficult to stand so close to somebody and slip their shot. You need extreme confidence. Unbelievable. Well, two, well, one very talented like middleweight and one real tough guy. So a bit of replay there for round two here. Bang, right hand there and again on the chin. And then, of course, he swarmed all over him. Caught him with some vicious punches like that. That left hook was very heavy left hook. And there oh. it is again. Big punch. And they, they, they scramble your senses, Richard, don't they? Oh, definitely. But look how impressive. He's standing right in front of him. He's just got his punching and he's, he's got that awareness to just roll his roll under those punches that are coming back in. Yeah, and there's that beautifully picked up a cut as well from Ekendayo. I think that was a touch of the Roy Jones Jr. Just flicking the foot up there. A terrific round there for Ekendayo as we come out now for round three. This one's scheduled for four, and the big question is, can Ben Dangani see it through? Ekendayo <laughs> switched to southpaw. Richard, I'll be very honest with you, I don't think I've seen... Uh, 
a talent as complete as this in his first professional fight ever. Well, I, I would actually agree. I think he'd be very hard pushed. Very hard pushed indeed to, to find another. And he's incredibly relaxed as well. So the ghost is talking about that age and experience. For so many fighters, Richard, you know as well as I do, they fall apart when they get to a certain age. Another good shot there from uh, Ekendayo. And they do, you know, early 30s, mid 30s, and all of a sudden, they're nothing. Nice bit of work here again. And the towels come in, the towels come in from the uh, Gengani corner. And uh, that was Jimmy Chips. Jimmy Chips threw the towel in. He's a very sensible man, is our Jimmy. Absolutely, Jimmy been around, been around for a very long time, knows he's fighter, knows boxing, and I think he's, he's the absolutely right thing to do. And let me just tell you, by the way, that the referee is under no obligation to accept the towel of surrender. The referee can kick the towel out and say, no, the fight continues. A lot of people don't know that. Well, I think the referee was probably looking for a reason as well. You're probably right, and that's the first stoppage that Dengani, uh, Dengani has suffered. And what a cracking debut for Ekendayo. Oh, definitely. Sweet southpaw. He can fight very well out of the southpaw stance as well. Hurtful punches. Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and nine seconds of round three, your referee Marcus McDonald has stopped the contest. Therefore, your winner on his professional debut in natural, Larry Ekundayo!